for Morbid Maniacs, it's time for another spooky video. And for tonight's spooky video, I'm going to be reading off another one of my subscribers' stories. And this one's actually from my good friend Anthony, who I met at Spirit Halloween. We worked together for a few years. He sent me a very long, good paranormal story. And I'm going to kind of read it how he put it, because... He made it into a creepypasta, like it was just so awesome the way that he worded everything. So thank you so much Anthony for sending me your story and allowing me to share it with my subscribers on my channel. If you are interested in sharing your paranormal story with me so that I can feature it in one of my videos, please be sure to go to that email which I always leave in the description box below and send it in to me because I love hearing your stories. And when I was a kid, we used to live in this little trailer in a small cul-de-sac. Thinking back on everything that happened, I'm still not sure if it was paranormal or not, but the story is strange nonetheless. There would be plenty of your standard events that could simply be written off as silly forgetfulness or paranoia. Standard things like setting something down and it not being there when you go back for it. Only for it to have returned to that spot later. Hearing noises or feelings of being watched. Though the extent to which I experienced, the latter too was oddly high. As a kid, I was afraid of the dark, or at least that is what I thought at the time. Thinking back on it, I'm not so sure. I would be fine many nights in the dark. No fear whatsoever. Other nights, I would randomly get strong feelings of being watched and get scared, even when moments before I was perfectly fine. I remember this fear was very intense, far more than just a random paranoia of the dark. I would practically shake. The only way I could find any kind of peace to sleep was to either hide my face in between the bed and the wall something that still brings me comfort to this day, or to sneak into my little brother's room and sleep in there with him. This sense of fear would only be heightened by hearing noises in the hall. My parents told me at the time that it was the house settling, and I tried to convince myself of that too. Maybe that was indeed the case, but remembering them now, I remember them sounding like footsteps very loud ones at that. They always seem to be out in the hall, just outside my door. I don't ever remember hearing them anywhere else. One of the most terrifying nights I can remember is when my parents were gone for the night. Me and my little brother stayed up late in the living room watching the Iron Giant Marathon. It was one of our favorites and it was playing over and over all night. We were on our third watch through my little brother had fallen asleep in the floor. I was sitting on the couch with my dog asleep beside me. I remember getting a feeling of dread out of nowhere. And then soon after, I heard a loud noise from the hall. My brother was still fast asleep, but the dog woke up immediately and stared at the hall. The loud noises continued. I remember they sounded like someone was stomping or jumping loudly in the hall right outside my room. I was frozen in fear. A cold chill ran up my spine and I felt my face go pale. I didn't know what to do. I felt that at any moment something was about to run around that corner. Finally, I was able to move and I shoved my head in between the couch cushions and covered myself with a blanket. I still heard the loud noises and I was terrified to look. I don't remember what happened after that. I guess I fell asleep. There was also the issue of the sleepwalking. I say sleepwalking because I don't know what else to call it. I would experience weird dreams or nightmares, usually involving me running away from something. And in the real world, I would take off running, screaming, trying to crawl up walls and pounding on doors completely asleep. I even apparently tried to get out of the house one time while someone was trying to break in. According to my parents, I scared them off. 
The only one of these dreams I can remember is me sitting in my room in the dark. I can see myself in third person and I have a sense of dread. I quickly get up and turn on the lights, but this fills me with fear for some reason. Something in my dream that I seem to understand. So I take off running to get my parents. I start beating on their door and yelling for them only to be woken up by them in the hall outside their room. I was beating on their door and yelling in real life too. After we moved out of the house, I only had one of these dreams. I was laying in my bed and my buddy was laying in the floor. We were both afraid of something, something we seemed to understand in the dream. He tells me to go get my parents and that he will be all right. I run out of my room and go to theirs, but I wake myself up in the living room before getting to their door. I come to my senses. My buddy wasn't even staying the night. He wasn't there. The next morning, I had a big bruise on my side. Now and again, I still have similar dreams. These ones are all in first person though. I'm afraid of something that is just understood in the dream. And I will jump out of bed to turn my light on or run to the bathroom to turn that light on. But when I do, I wake up and realize that I had been in a state of half asleep and can't recall what I was afraid of. Mom and Dad told me other experiences after we left. Dad said he once went to the bathroom and saw an old woman in the hall with a skeleton face looking out the window between mine and my little brother's room. However, he said he was on drugs at that time and he doesn't know if it was real or not. Mom told me about how when we were moving, she was packing a box and said, we are leaving, get in if you're coming with us. And as soon as she said that, she said a picture of the family flew off the wall. I don't know what to make of this story. I'm not convinced it was anything more than fear and paranoia mixed with various types of sleeping disorders. But I am also not convinced it wasn't paranormal either. I suspect I will never know the truth, so I will leave that interpretation up to you. Okay, so there was Anthony's story. <laughs> wow. I'd probably say, like, the way that he worded his story really creeped me out. It reminded me of, like, a creepypasta or something. There definitely could be logical explanations to what happened, but I'm also a firm believer in the paranormal. I mean, you've got to be skeptical with, with some things, but um, some of it I don't believe was a coincidence. I don't think that it just happened and that there's a logical explanation behind it. I don't know, it was really freaky. I think the creepiest one to me is when you said that you can like see you laying in your bed sleeping because that's kind of like an outer body experience almost and I definitely believe in those. I believe that whenever we sleep our souls go into a different dimension and like stuff happens to us as we're sleeping and I've never had an outer body experience thankfully. I do know some people that have, have had outer body experiences. But once again, thank you so much for sharing your story. That was really creepy and I really enjoyed hearing it and sharing it with my subscribers. And once again, if you have a paranormal story of your own which you would like to share with me and feature in a video, please check out that email down in the description box below and send it in to me. I need stories to share. I love hearing your stories. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become Morbid Maniac. Be sure to hit that bell notification. That way you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And if you are interested, I have an OnlyFans account, which I always leave in the description box below. I post daily sexy content on there, so if you are interested, please go check that out. 
And I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video.